There are two mistakes that are commonly made when building a mighty network. Knowing these mistakes and how to fix them will help you to build great community and online courses using the Mighty Networks platform. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful with your network. I want you to leave this video knowing how to avoid or stop making these common mistakes. We'll look at the complexity trap first and then talk about getting stuck and being inflexible. Stop spinning your wheels and move forward with your network. Complexity is the number one mistake made when building a mighty network. It causes a lot of headache and frustration. To begin with, the planning and building of your network takes a lot longer, there's more time, energy, and money involved. And if you get your network together, it's more frustrating for the members. They don't know how to easily get around it. They don't know how to find all the great things that you want to give them. It's also more difficult for you as a host to maintain and evolve and grow your network. If you're finding yourself, you know, asking yourself one question after another as you're trying to plan and build your network and you're not making any progress, or you have something together but you really can't explain it to your members, those are two good signs that there's complexity involved that you need to take care of. Luckily, there's an easy answer. The answer is simplicity. What can you simplify in your network? It might be as easy as starting with a subset of your original plans. Start small and grow and enlarge it later. Take a look at who you're trying to serve. Do you have multiple audiences? Can you simplify your ideal member for today into something really easy to look at and to handle? What do you want to provide for your members? Can you provide less and still give them a great experience or even a better experience than if you provide more? And how are you providing things to them? What's the structure and the organization in your network? Can you simplify and reduce that? What can you remove from the network? The second big mistake when building a mighty network is to get really rigid about how things should be done, what your network should be. No online tool is going to work exactly the way you want it. You'd need to pay for expensive and time-consuming custom coding for that. The Mighty Network platform supports thousands of hosts doing a wide range of different things in different situations. Chances are, when you make your network, you're going to find something that doesn't work quite the way you want it to, or is maybe even missing that you would really like to have there. I would be really surprised if you didn't. The trap here is to get stuck and don't move forward because something that you think should be done one way is not available. Submitting a product request is a good idea, but then find a way to keep moving forward. If you find yourself in a situation where what you want to do isn't possible, at least not right now, the way to move out of that and to keep moving is to be curious. You might step back, look underneath what you wanted to do. Why were you doing that? What purpose does it serve? What's your intention? Is there a way that you could meet that same purpose and intention in a different way, either inside your network or even outside of it? Do some exploring. What have other people done that might have wanted to do something like you did? What are the workarounds that you could test out and adapt? You could even ask yourself the question, why isn't that available, I wonder? What else is available in this platform that I'm not even thinking to look for or ask about that might be an even better thing for me to be doing in my network to help my members? Whenever you find yourself having trouble moving forward, the things to reach out to first are to simplify and to be curious. Those two things are going to take you far. Everybody's network and situation is a little bit different. And I enjoy helping hosts move forward with their network. In the videos here on this YouTube channel, in my free online community, you'll find the link to that here in the description for the video, and also working one-on-one -on -one with hosts about their particular situations.